gateway we've never been before. At Alcourt Roundabout, take the first exit onto B4063. So we've got to follow it round then. So caravans stay left. So we've got to follow this route, this road round. The motor home service points down the bottom, but I don't think I'll get on with the car. She says might not get on. Ah oh, right, okay. So we've got to have a look. Motel left. Yeah, because we've even got an hotel here. Look, motel. Oh, they? Yeah. That's the car park for it there. Oh right. So we're on pitch seventy one. Yep, so follow it round. So where's the water point? In the um I might have to drop drop the car off and then come back round again, Hazel. Yeah, okay, no problem. Yeah, actually it might be too long to get in. Well we're gonna have to probably reverse it and go looking at where it is. I think it's there. Uh, oh, don't know. that's it there. Um Yeah, it's down there, look my term service points down there. They definitely ain't going to get on with the car, so no. we'll set the car off and drop the car for the picture and come back round again. Yeah, yeah, that would probably be the easiest bit, yeah. won't it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. It looks a really nice sight, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I thought, as I said to us, all the time we've been up and down the M5, we never knew they were here. Really? Yeah. It's because what you do now, it's just so... <laughs> yeah, no excuse. No excuses. Drinking water tap there. So, whereabouts are we? Look, uh, so that's pitch 18, this is 59. So, looking at the map, where we've got to go, we've got to go around the corner again, ain't we? Around another corner. Uh, are we 71? Oh, yeah. 71. Yeah, I think we've got to go around. I'm wondering why not. Yeah, 61 here, look. 62. Yeah, it looks nice. What a sight. Yeah, it looks like we're here because I think we're right next to a uh, water. There's a picture of a tap. Oh, is there? Oh, I'm not about to so the big long pipe down. Happy days. 
Yeah, somewhere around here somewhere. That big boat train <laughs> with a slide out lot, American. Oh Army. yeah, look at that. Oh, it's got one both sides. Yeah, it has, yeah. Wow. Brave. Got it some Winnebago. Yeah. Oh yeah. So um, 66, 67. I think we were just by a roundabout where that uh, red bucket is here. further round than I thought then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll just uh, pull up here, drop the car off there. Yeah, yeah. See where the tap is then. We'll get to the <laughs> He's ready to go. Yeah, he is, Pillars. Right, we'll go get the, uh, the car, car off. off and then we will join you in a minute. A few notice boards on the side reception. Some of the local walks and Tony way about, about, about outside the park. What's timetables? Also tells you if you've got a dog as well, dog friendly pubs, pubs in Cheltenham, dog friendly pubs oh, yeah. in Gloucester and dog friendly pubs by car. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's, that's really all right. Good. You don't get that many places. Yeah, like I say, even though it's by main road, you can't you can hear the traffic. You can hear the traffic off the motorway, and that. But it ain't uh, that bad. Uh, you do, get, however, get quite a lot of play, little planes going across as well. And that you know is your local takeaways as well. Look there. Yeah, there's just a you know. A board of information yeah. of all different in well places of interest. I yeah, think, so, yeah, uh, yeah. Gloucester like docks, museums. There's museums you can go to. Railway. Yeah, Gloucester and Warwick Railway. Cathedral. Yeah. Docks, country park. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Good, yeah. And as you come in, I say reception's on the left. You got a few of these little uh, statues across. Yeah. There's one there. Someone saying welcome. The automatic barriers, and so the gardeners are all quite pristine as well. Here, and so this place has even got an hotel. So you've got your tent pitches over here in the middle that's in the middle of the park up there and like I said we've got uh, all the pitches pitch here I'll put a map up in a bit and you've got the motel as you just said about the planes one just going over ahead I think you can just about make it out yeah, and the motel's the building down at the end there. And it's called Briarfields Motel and Touring Park, it's called. So there's the uh, motel park. So if you ain't got a camper van, motor home or a tent, you can always come here and uh, spend a night in the uh, motel. We've even got electric car charging points here in the car park. For the motel. Pear trees there, look at look. Look at the pear, size of them oh, pears. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're good. Aren't they? Yeah, they're nice. There's a lot on there as well. Yeah, there is, yeah. That's you don't yeah. see that very often. No, there's your electric charging point, two points. So, only one cable, but there's two, two chargers there. Where there's 76 pitches. 30 fully service pitches, three clamping pods, and like I say, the motel that was just seen. Yeah, it's, it's really a small site. Yeah, it's another only site. I think it's a part of the Tranquil Parks group as well. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. One toilet block on site. And there's another side of the motel. Another view of the motel, that should I say. Another one of these little uh, 
Like woven straw. And that's a squirrel lot. Oh, that's really good. Look at that, that's good, isn't it? I bet that took some doing. Yeah, I bet, yeah. Oh, and there's an air there as well. Motor home service points down here. And from what I've seen on the map, there's a beehive as well, somewhere. Yeah, motor home service points just here. Got drinking water, just a drain for your grey waste. It looks like the beehive's down here. Look. And the beehive's right in the corner down there. I'm not going to get too close, I think that brave. It's an actual beehive. Yeah, but it says on the paperwork. It's here, look. I'm not going much closer though. You can actually see them flying around, look, down there actually. Around Where? the. On, on the right hand side. Come here, Taylor. Yeah. Just Come there. Yeah. Yeah. Do not approach. Oh, yeah, you can actually see them on the top. Yeah, you can see them around it, can't you? Oh, yeah. But yeah, so the gardens are all nicely cut. There's a view of the motel. Yeah, I don't know how many rooms are in the motel, but if you give them a ring, they'll be able to tell you. So you've got the good chemical waste point here. Mm -hmm. And so all the, all the pictures are marked clearly with the numbers packed on the road, as you can see. These are slightly different to our pitches. These are all gravel pitches. Anne's got like a block paving where you park on and uh, gravel where you're on and goes. A bit of recycling. Just there. Tyler being nosy as usual. No, he's pulling me all over into yeah. different places. <laughs> but there is Wi Fi on the park as well, which is free. Uh, I did a speed test earlier, and it's quite quick, to be honest. Yeah, it's it's uh, one of the best Wi-Fi uh, that we've ever uh, tried out on, on a park. And that, it's almost as fast as our 5G in the motorhome, but, uh, yeah, really impressed. I don't know what the ladders are there for, though. No, it does look a bit weird, doesn't it? It's holding something up on it. It's got something on it, like holding something up. Yeah. There is only one toilet block on site, which I believe that's the building there. But you can't get to it from this, uh, well, oh yes, you can get to it from this side. So I'll go and show you now. There's loads of uh, points where you're drinking water all around the site as well. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, which is good, yeah. So you've got the ladies' toilets there, the disabled toilet, and the gents' toilets. Also, down the side, I believe, somewhere down this side, there's another uh, waste disposal point. We think that's another chemical disposal point, yeah. Also got a laundry room here. Again, loads more information. The map of the place. Washing machine and tumble dryer. Two sinks. A few leaflets. And a books exchange and a fridge freezer. Washing machines are tokens from reception. Three pounds for washing, two for pound for drying. And if you ain't got no washing pounds, it's 50p. Bargain. Right, I'll show you the ladies' toilets. Obviously, dogs are not allowed. Mandatory evacuation of 
and we have five toilets Just look really really clean we might have to voice over this because uh, there's a radio playing so we'll get copyright strike oh there's your there's your showers ah it is it's a is it a push button yeah it's a push button no seats or anything but it does look pretty pretty big oh yeah there's a there's a little chair somewhere to hang clothes and your dressing gown oh this must be a disabled a disabled uh, shower room and then we've got oh we've got a wash basin and we've also got the hair dryer so we've got two in a cubicle and then we've got two without the cubicle a nice long mirror there uh, a hand dryer. What have we got around here? Oh, two more showers. Oh, this one's actually got a seat in it. Which is a lot better. Okay, that was really nice and clean. There is also several entrances to the toilets from different parts of the park. This is the far side. So I think we did see this when we were coming in the van. This is amazing, isn't it? We've just been talking to a guy outside the toilets and uh, he got stuffies. Mm -hmm. He was fussing Tyler. Just saying his uh, dog's 14 and not very well. You don't know how much longer it's going to have to live. Yeah. Bless him. Looks a bit distraught, didn't he? To be yeah. honest. Well, Tal is what, 12, is he? 12, 13. 12, 12, 12. 12. Yeah, coming on to 13th. Well, next year, isn't he now? Yeah, next year, yeah. Yeah. But it's amazing when you're walking around. Yeah, how many, how many people, people say, yeah. you come up to him and say hello to him, like, and. Yeah, and that the bad stuff And the bad is stuff all is all the lives, yeah. Like, that's really like myself. Yeah. But, I can remember, I haven't got them now though, but I can remember seeing pictures of myself literally as a, a little, couple of months old baby sitting between two or three of them. His mum and dad always had stuffs yeah. and boxers. <laughs> Bit of a mixture. <laughs> but yeah. But yes, it's a nice, I say, got, we have got traffic noise. It's a nice, uh, nice sight, this. We're definitely, we're only here for one night. This, on, the way, on our way to our next destination, which we'll reveal in the next vlog. But, uh, yeah, say one night. It ain't going to be the last time we come here. I'm going to say definitely be this place when we're, when we're travelling about. And it's literally just five minutes off the M5, off Junction 11 towards uh, Cheltenham. And uh, first line you come to after the motorway junction... And uh, down, nice down, hide away, yeah, isn't it? nice little hide away, yeah. So, about a mile off the junction to the island, turn left, yeah. and it's about 800 yards off the island. Up there. It's really close, ideal stopover just for to break up a journey. So, you're going up and down the M5 area, Definitely. and so back at the motor home now, just got the solar power solar panel out, charging the power bank that we got. That's how we uh, survived last last week and the other week off on the uh, uh, yeah. the Warner show. Yeah, did that. Using a power bank brilliant. for the first time. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. And also do a review on the uh, cut, cut towing cover. 
So it survived down to here anyway, a couple hours from home. Yeah, and a few showers, so it's been christened. Yeah, it's been christened in the rain, yeah.